Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the St. James plugin and we're gonna be talking about the room feature. The room feature allows you to take the cab rig emulation of whichever cabinet, speaker, and microphone that you choose and place this into a room of three different sizes and three different widths. You can mix and match these to come up with your perfect room size. And in this video, we're going to be exploring the different options available and looking at why you would choose each one of those options. So to start with, I've got a really simple low gain crunch tone dial in on the St. James 6L6 amp. I'm using just one speaker cabinet for this, but this principle applies to if you're running this in stereo with two different speaker cabinets, all of these rules still apply. I'm using just the St. James cabinet with a 67 condenser, on axis and it's just panned straight up the middle. So when you listen to this on speakers or via headphones, you'll hear the stereo width of the room changing as we go. It'll be the same signal going left and right, but you'll actually hear the width increasing or decreasing depending on what we set these options to here. So this is the tone that I'm using. <laughs> So that is incredibly dry. I'm not using any post effects here. So my reverb and my delay, which could create some space are both switched off. All we're hearing is the amp and the cabinet completely dry. So inside the room options, we have three different options for each. We have the size. This is the size of the room that the cabinet is placed in. So we've got small, medium, and large. And then we have the width which is how much of the room and the width of the room that we're hearing through the microphone. So close is a really tight sound because the microphone is right up close to the speaker grill. Spaced, we've got a little bit more space because the microphone is pulled back a bit. We're hearing a bit more of the room. And then wide, the microphone's a bit further away. So we get a much more obvious sense of what's going on with the room. The room is more audible in the mixed signal. In the middle, we have this control which is the room level. Now, what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be setting this very, very extreme so we can really hear the room sound. But when you're using this in your own settings, you're gonna to wanna to dial this back, which I'll show you how to do later on in the video. So to start with, I'm just gonna show you the small size, and we're gonna go through the three different width options just so you can get a feel for what they're doing. So as I said, when I'm doing this, I'm gonna be setting this very extreme. I'm gonna be setting this on full so we hear a real sense of the room. When you're using this in your own settings, you're gonna to wanna to blend this in a little bit more subtly because you don't want as much of the room sound to be obvious because you're trying to create a natural recording sound. Some of these tones are gonna to sound slightly unnatural because I'm emphasizing the room just to show you what it does. So the small room, is gonna give you a sense of a tighter space. So let's say you want the sound of recording in like a small studio or like a bedroom or a bathroom, something that's quite small in size, this is where you're gonna to wanna to start. The width, as I said, is gonna determine how much of that sort of room width we're hearing through the microphone. So I'm gonna start on close and then I'm gonna increase these so you hear the difference. So I'm gonna start by playing my dry sound. Then I'm gonna turn this all the way up so you can hear the close and then I'll go through the other options as well. So as I increase that width, you could hear a real difference there. The close is a much tighter sound. You can still hear a little ambient tail there and the wide has a much more apparent tail on there. So now I'm gonna go up a room size to the medium size. This is obviously going to increase the size of the space that we hear. Think of this like a medium studio or perhaps like a small hall where we can definitely hear more of the room going on around our speaker cabinet. As you know, if you play a guitar amp in different size rooms, you get different room responses. So here's the medium with all three width settings. <laughs> So 
that one we can definitely hear more of a wider expanse, especially when we're all the way up on the wide setting. You can always tell the big difference by playing a muted hit and listening to the tail off. So on the close setting, it sounds like we're hearing just a little bit of that room blended in. And the wide setting, we can hear much more of the room going on there. Now over to the large setting. So if you want your guitar to sound like you're playing in a big hall or perhaps like a big music venue, like an arena, this is where you're gonna want to start. One, you can hear a huge difference that does sound like a really big room again we'll do the test so even the close one is quite big but the wide one is very very big we can hear that that is a massive room now i did say those are slightly exaggerated because i've really dialed up the volume of the room here so where you would use this in your own sound is let's say i want a wide but small room i'm not going to run it on this setting <laughs> because the room is kind of swamping over the guitar tone there. So I would maybe start by bringing this back to about halfway. So that still feels quite dry. So I would bring that up a little bit. And then we get a little bit of a sense of the room. You don't want to swamp your tone in the room unless that's a specific sound you're going for. As we go up in size, this becomes a lot more sensitive. So if you're running a large but wide room, you're probably going to start a bit further down. And then if you want a bit more of that room, maybe go to halfway. The room setting is more of a natural ambience. So this is what's gonna make your speaker sound like it's a real speaker in a room. It's gonna make the actual cab rig sound very realistic. Don't confuse this for reverb because reverb you can add later on. You can actually dial in a room sound that fits the sort of room you want to hear your speaker in and then go into the post effects and add your reverb later on. You can obviously go quite big, but then you risk the sound getting a bit too swamped. <laughs> So I would always recommend keeping your room settings a little more subtle and then boosting it up with reverb later on. But there you go, there are the three different room sizes and widths compared. Like I said, you can use the small size if you want to recreate recording in a smaller space. And then obviously you go all the way up to a large. If you want to hear your guitar sound in a large hall, that's where you would pick that. The width is how much of the room you're hearing in relation to the mic distance. So think of the close as being the mic right up to the grill. The space is being a bit further back and the wide is being further back again because you're getting more of that big stereo image. This is also going to be different depending on what mic you choose. So I've done this with a 67 condenser, which is going to pick up a wider sound. If you use something like a 57 dynamic, it's going to be a bit more directional. So some of those wider settings will be a little more subtle. But there you go. There is all the different room options. Let me know down below in the comments which room options you're choosing in your Blackstar St. James Tones. I'd love to hear how you guys are setting that up as well. If there's anything else you'd like to see us doing with this plugin, let us know down below in the comments. And while you're doing that, don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more free videos just like this. And also, don't forget to check out musicteacher.com. If you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, head over to musicteacher.com. Check out the network of music teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.